All right, I am in Ocala, Florida. I've been here all day long. I went kayaking earlier. I'm about to hike this trail out into the swamp or whatever it is, woods, swamp. Hopefully I'll see some critters. The sun's about to go down here too. So um, I brought my night lights, my headlamp, and uh, see if we can't conjure up a uh, swamp ape or some type of rabid animal. If they're rabid, then uh, FWC gives you permission to twist their neck off. I've always wanted to experiment with doing that. Make sure I didn't lock my keys in my car. Here's a little view of the uh, trailhead parking area. Nice sandy ground. Very quiet. I'm the only one out here. That's because no one in Florida comes to Florida to go hiking. It's a miserable place to hike. It's also excruciatingly hot half the time, but it's actually pretty nice weather here today. It's um, it's like 65 degrees tonight, low 80s during the day. So I don't think I'm gonna die this time like normal, so. All right, over here we have a Quaker village. Um, you can see the houses weren't finished. They got started building these houses and then they realized how just absolutely fucking miserable uh, summers here are in Florida. So they jacked it up and left it on rocks and they hightailed it back to Philadelphia. You know, they get an, at least they tried to settle here, but um, they just, they couldn't pull it off. So they left. Right here, um, Florida tilted pine, very common in the state. Even the trees are trying to um, grow away from the state itself. They're trying to get the hell out of here too. Here's a bunch of firewood back here that I could have stolen tonight. Uh, instead, I bought some from Walmart and I'm probably going to be responsible for bringing in a bunch of parasitic larvae into this place. This is a um, common Florida palm. It's actually an invasive species. Um, it was brought here from China. This right here is actually your uh, standard Florida Airbnb. No running water, no windows. It's up on bricks, no electricity, uh, no HVAC system. $1,500 a night, minimum. Here's the trailhead. Um, River Trails, really confusing. It's supposed to be called something else, but I think that's just the uh, name of the compound right here. So, and um, it doesn't look like there's anybody else out here except for me. Probably some monkeys too. There's supposed to be long monkeys back here. Actually, let's cut through the woods because there is something jumping over here. There's something jumping around and beating on this building. There are wild rhesus macaques out here. Just between you and me, I would love to stomp one with my steel toe boots. What? Anyways, we're going to carry on to the trail here. There's something up in that tree. It's not a squirrel. There's something else in that tree over there. It just jumped from that tree to that tree and it called me a slur. So I'm gonna get out of here. It was in Spanish too. So we'll go back into the woods. Spanish people don't go in the woods. So that's, and that's, that's not prejudice or anything. I have many Cuban friends and none of them will go in the woods with me. I don't blame them. You gotta be borderline crazy to go into woods that are full of black bears, alligators, cotton mouse, and wild rhesus macaques. And yet here I am, possible macaque sighting. No, it's just a squirrel. One of the best ways to deter um, a troop of macaques is to kind of do the purple-headed helicopter. They see that and they're like, nah, he's alpha. Beautiful Spanish moss. It used to be American moss until Christopher Columbus landed. 
All right, we have a very simple trail marker here. Swamp trail on the left, river trail on the right. I'm gonna do both of them. I think I pissed off the uh, park ranger earlier. When I came into the park, I didn't stop and I just cruised on by and I saw him running out of the building in my rear view, throwing his hands up. He was pissed, he was not happy, but I circled back around and I explained to him, you know, that was pretty rude. So um, he was cool with it. He slipped me, he actually slipped me a joint too, so. But um, I told him I don't do drugs, and I, I sold it to some uh, Mexican guy for $30. So it's been an eventful night so far, and the night's still young. Now that is an ugly tree. And these are ugly f fern, or these palms, ground palms. Looks like a five-year-old kid drew those with a melted crayon. A sign uh, at the beginning back there it says you know wear high top shoes venomous snakes throughout so cactus action here it looks like something's been um having sex with this cactus i sprayed on so much uh 100 deep mosquito spray before i started this trail um, i'm probably never going to be able to have kids after that but that's okay all right we've got a fallen palm here this did not fall from the hurricane this is homeless camps will sit up here in the woods and what they'll do is they'll knock these stumps down and they'll dig the grubs out of them and they'll eat them like friggin chimpanzees so um, i had a guy at the 7-eleven earlier he tried to sell me a dozen grubs for 30 dollars, and i said buddy I, I can get my own grubs you can keep your coastal grubs you can shove them up your ass beautiful um invasive Florida palm another another friggin Florida homeless camp destruction set up here look and Florida grub diggers they just god dude I swear Florida homeless they're the reason that these forests are getting destroyed we must do everything we can to stop them they're wiping out the grubs you know if, if only they could you know put all that effort into wiping out some of these invasive palms they're wiping out the, they're actually, those are the native palms. They need to be wiping out these invasive Florida palms. They're wiping out the Chinese palms. Those are native. Idiots. God, good thing, you know, it's a good thing that I have the amount of intelligence that I do so that I can spread this awareness. Yeah, this is prime intercoastal Sasquatch nesting, like bedding areas. Um, they usually kind of, this is where they'll go and kind of, you know, roll one up and kick back. So I'm not going to walk back there. Not when the sun's going down. That's stupid. All right. I definitely should not be walking through this area over here in these shoes, but I got to get a glimpse of this um, swamp. I fear no animal for thou nine millimeter art with me. Oh yeah. Let's get this video to um, 9 million likes and I'll trudge through here barefoot. I'll come back. I will come back. I'll walk across this barefoot smothered in peanut butter. I'll put peanut butter from my forehead down to my pinky toe and I will trek through this for two hours. 9 million likes. The sun is starting to creep down back here um i think it, i think it's gonna look really cool out here in the dark time in the deep of night in the thick of nocturnal abyss doing my part to um, harbor the growth of invasive native species i probably won't be allowed back in florida after this video actually that's okay florida is just the rich man's alabama anyways between both states, there's the same amount of teeth. I'm trying to keep an eye up here on these treetops. See if I spot any of these tree rats. The rhesus tree rat. But yeah, if I if I do see one, I'm going to pick one of these uh, pecans or walnuts up off the ground. I'm chucking it, dude. I'm going to let these sons of bitches know the lay of the land. Like somebody should have did it a hundred years ago before they took over 
So that right there is definitely a monkey rope bridge. Um, it smells like feces. This is probably uh, one of the methods they usually get back into the treetops. And then they coat it with their feces to uh, let their friends know, you know, if they're if they're on their trail, you know, to let them know which direction to take. All ground palms in the state of Florida, they're artificial. Um, they make them in a plastic factory in Jiangqing province in China. They're just cardboard. They paint them, they doctor them up, make them look good. And then, you know, after obviously after the paint wears off the cardboard, um, it goes back to its natural color. So, and then UPS comes out here, they harvest the cardboard. Um, na it's natural cardboard. So, but it's, these are artificial. UPS harvest that and that's how you get your Amazon packages. But yeah, all this is imported from a factory in Jiangqing uh, province, China, painted green. So far today, I've seen 11 alligators, seven manatees, um, at least 30,000 turtles, and probably 37 Puerto Ricans, but you know, that's a typical day in Florida. This trail has a lot of um, hurricane damage too from when uh, Helene came through here a few weeks ago and blew some stuff sideways. It's pretty crazy passing through uh, South Georgia. There's like whole buildings missing. So it's pretty sad. Tomorrow is going to be even more interesting when I go further south into Florida and see all the damage from Hurricane Milton. So that's if I can even get down there because a lot of the gas stations, even up here in North Florida and Central Florida, um, we're out of gas. So I bought an extra jug of gas just in case I get into a situation where I can't fill up. And the last thing I want to do is get stuck here. Good Lord, it's a big spider. I'm out. Friends of the forest. An albatross just took off. That's probably a turkey. But um, anyways, I've been doing, I've been on a juice cleanse now for about two months and I've really been sticking to it. And it it's it's helped it's my skin's getting clear and um my um blood is actually healthier than it used to be so i haven't got it checked out or anything but i can feel it inside of me and i think there's marijuana plants over there but anyways all right here is a sign um showing the two species of monkeys that populate this um, forest, the rhesus macaque and the verbent monkey. It says to uh, not feed them, it's punishable by law. It does not say anything about sending a hollow point in their direction. So if it happens, you know, and I do it, you need to put it on the sign. You need to put it on the sign if you don't want a 9mm FMJ going towards the direction of a rhesus macaque. That's that's common law. It looks like I'm coming up on the uh, halfway point of this um, woodland trail crossing a an actual, you know, cypress swamp. Not some garbage, you know, little rain puddle. This is a legitimate cypress swamp and God only knows what's swimming in those waters i will uh do the peanut butter challenge in this swamp that's going to require 150 million likes and um a north face sponsorship but i will do it i'll do the peanut butter challenge i'll actually spend the night out here smothered in peanut butter 100 percent, not even kidding um all i require is 150 million likes a North Face sponsorship, and you got to pay for my plane ticket down here, but I will do it. Oh, wow, this is some very clear water. All right, I'm gonna get my flashlight out and uh, see if we can't conjure up some uh, swamp demons.
So. Headlamp out so you know it's real. And then. Uh, that's not the sound of a bird, that's the sound of a monkey. There's monkeys up here. Holy shit. I didn't bring peanut butter with me, but I did bring Vaseline, so uh, we should be good. But. Some crazy clear water. Um, perfect. Perfect body of water for a good solid peanut butter challenge. That's not a monk. That's a turkey. There's a turkey up there in that tree. Let's see if I can zoom in. And... I don't know if I don't know if you all can see that. I swear I heard a monkey though, but that's a turkey. It could be mingling with the monkeys. Dude, what is there? I know turkeys fly, I've seen them fly, but these things are flying around like pigeons. Anyways, moving on. There's bigger, literally bigger fish to fry here than turkeys. I didn't come here for a lunch meat, an airborne lunch meat. That's all a turkey is. The sun is fully down. The moon is out. There are creatures shouting in the treetops. There are creatures swimming in the swamp below. Are creatures crawling across uh, this, you know, bridge or this causeway, whatever it is. I'm not really creeped out, but I am a little on edge because um, I've watched one too many videos. Dude, see what I mean? I have no idea what's up above me right now going batshit crazy. And then I see an eyeball up here in the water. I'm pretty sure it's an alligator. This is nuts, but I'm being stalked. I'm being stalked by something. And I don't know if it's um, an animal or if it's my ex-girlfriend that actually lives here in Ocala, Florida. Because um, it very well could be her too. I don't think she'd be stalking me for um, intimacy though she'd probably be stalking me to run me over with her car she hates me but i don't blame her yeah there's some type of critter up there in the woods hopefully we can identify that bastard this is spooktacular this is a great way to spend halloween um well the halloween season i might come out here on halloween dressed as a pumpkin this is what the florida swamps look like at nighttime this is about as swampy as it gets right here um, you gotta watch where you're going because, oh yeah, we've got some, if you can see right here, we have a juvenile alligator and then another right next to it. Birds of the feather, brothers of the same mother, um, just chilling. I gotta make sure they don't crawl up on this um, path because they will. But yeah, just a couple little baby alligators. Those things are fresh out of the nest, probably just a couple weeks, maybe a month. I, not that I know, I'm not, I have no idea what I'm talking about. But, and there's more over there, um, Mama is close. Mama is very close. So we're just going to leave them alone. I think I've pissed off enough wildlife today. So, but anyways, baby alligators. Let's see if we can get a little closer look at this one. Yeah, they're just hanging out there. Um, you know, they got it made because, I mean, they've got fish. And I'm not really sure what kind of fish. Probably just, you know, regular smallmouth bass or something. But they have got it made. They can just kind of sit there and, you know, take... Um, take their pickings and feed whenever they want to. There's no shortage of food out here. So, and they get to, you know,
bask underneath a shade of these uh, cardboard, um, these, you know, these artificial plants with these actually, they painted these pretty good. They're, the paint's not coming off of them yet. But anyways, that's a baby alligator right there just chilling. There's probably hundreds of them out here. Um, I didn't come here for the babies though. I want to see, I want to see mama. So, so I'm going to try to try to find her at some point so we'll see how it goes all right I'm at the end of this little um, path this you know this over I don't know whatever you want to call it this uh, bridge to Terabithia um, and it leads right out here into the crystal springs and that is actually water that is crystal clear freaking water it doesn't get any clearer than that I mean you can see the fish just swimming um there's thousands and thousands of uh invasive tilapia in these springs um and that's that's not a joke that's not me being funny either there's actually tons of them i saw a bunch of them today and they just have completely taken over um that's like the only fish you'll see because they've pretty much killed all the other ones off um by eating all their shit so I need to be careful um, keeping my back turned for too long because these paths, they go straight into the water. And this place is infested with God knows what. The alligators are probably the least of my worry. But, um, yeah, I mean, this water is just pristine, beautiful. Tilapias are jumping out there. Um, well, that might be a feasting... So there is an alligator um, right there, kind of. I, you can't really see it on the camera. He's up on the um, right there on the edge of the water, and something else is out there snacking. So but you know, this is uh, the nighttime wilds of Central Florida. In the swamplands, you know, everybody talks about Florida. They think about the beach and um, Disney, but there's a whole other world out here in the middle of Florida that that isn't as popular. And it's these springs, it's these just giant bodies of water that go on for hundreds of miles, and all the wildlife that lives in them. And um, this water right here is actually it's flowing, but not in any certain direction. It's coming up from inside of the earth this is just one big aquifer um, they said that this thing f pumps out 500 million gallons of fresh spring water every day which is insane um, and it's just the perfect habitat for you know hundreds of different species really cool spot I'm gonna keep hiking and uh, see what else I can get into and see tonight before I go back to my campsite and cook up a meal so here we go. All right, I'm gonna read this sign out to anybody that you know has any trouble reading, just to you know kind of be inclusive. But um, pretty much what this says: um, caution, alligators are present along the trails and waterways of the park. They will eat anything you feed them, and they are extremely hungry because they have a shortage of food. Alligators do not attack humans. Please approach them as soon as you see them and feed them whatever you have on your persons. Um, we're trying to. There's a food shortage out here. They're trying to... God, dude, there's something jumping. But anyways, there's a food shortage out here, and they're trying to um, fatten up the gators. So if you got any Vienna sausages on you or anything, just get right up on them and um, chuck it. Well you, well, you can actually hand feed them. You know, you'll really be kind of helping out the ecosystem around here. Beautiful night, beautiful uh, waxing croissant. Uh, I think that's the cycle of the moon. I don't know. You can usually, well, I could call, you know, some girls say they cycle with the moon, but those girls uh, need to be on Zoloft. Holy crap. See, that is the scariest creature in Florida right there, the, the cockroach. And that's the third scariest creature right there. I'm just kidding. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. But anyways. Damn it. All right, I'm going to walk back. Um. That's probably monkey shit, but I'm going to walk back and uh, get back to my campsite because I've got a lot of uh, 
preparation to do. I need to, you know, I got some food to grill up and stuff like that. Sorry, I thought I, I thought I heard something. I definitely did hear something, but I thought it was like whoop whoop, you know, like a Sasquatch. It might it very well may have been a Sasquatch. But um anyways, I'm gonna work my way back to my campsite. Uh cook a feast. Get my camp, um, you know, get set up for the night, get cozy. I got a long drive tomorrow. I'm going to drive down to the Gulf Coast and uh, do some saltwater fishing. All right, this is absolutely terrifying. Um, this is, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little spooked. Everywhere I walk, I hear shit jumping around. Um, not like, you know, normal woods where it's just squirrels and deer. Um you know, I'm ready to, I'm expecting to get feces bombed by a rhesus macaque uh, and his black velvet and a black velvet monkey. Or I might look over and see a freaking black bear, you know, eating a monkey or an alligator with a monkey riding on its back, um, you know, going to fight a black bear. And then you've got an armadillo butt fucking a turtle. So, I mean, there's the, the combinations are endless. So you can just imagine, you know, my adrenaline level right now. Slowly but surely working my way back to my van. Uh, I got lost. I'm back on the trail now after having a mild panic attack. This is not uh, a good place to go hiking by yourself if you don't like the dark. The dark doesn't bother me too much. It's just the... This is a place you want to hike during the day first, for sure. Don't go out in the night like an idiot uh, for the first time hiking somewhere. You've never unfamiliar territory. Territory. Just because you don't know you don't know what to expect. It's better to encounter it during the day than to uh, you know face it head on in the you know pitch black of the night. So so far it's been I mean nothing dangerous. Just. You know, unpredictable because, uh, you know, there's always possibility to encounter something wild or rabid. But this is actually, I have, it, I will say that this trail is extremely clean and very well maintained for how um, quickly things grow here in the state of Florida. They did a really good job at keeping this thing clean. It's a great place to hike. I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't be coming here in the dead of summer to hike though that'd be horrible but right now loaded up on bug spray i uh and i got a good hike in and i'm um i'm back here's the uh parking lot facility and the restrooms and stuff so finally back here all right we are back at the campsite um i'm gonna unpack everything my van is an absolute mess i need to get my sleeping situation set up a little bit better in here turn this crap off oh. um but yeah i'm gonna light this place up get some lanterns out um get this looking a little better so i can sleep later on and then um get some food going and get a campfire going too so all right i'm having a bit of a, a lighting crisis here um because I thought my lights were fully charged, but they were not. So I just bought them. Well, actually, no, I didn't. I've had them for several months sitting in a box, and uh, I didn't charge them. So I'm going to uh, get this campfire going so I can see. It's been an eventful day. I've kayaked, I've hiked, drove four hours. So, get this food out and get this going, and then I will be a happy camper. So, I got myself uh, six delicious drumsticks here. I'm about to cook up. 
I got some of that uh, uh, Tony Chachelle's Creole seasoning. I'm about to uh, doctor that shit all up. Get it all soaked in it. Leave no skin unsauced. And then flip them. Probably got a little bit of uh, mosquito repellent on my hands too. That'll add to the flavor. And uh, just gonna dash that. Soak the crap out of it. I mean, we're not leaving any thing unseasoned. We're gonna get very, uh, it's the only thing I'm liberal with. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit for a couple minutes and then I wanna get this uh, grill going over here and cook them up. In the meantime, I've got my uh, van set up for sleeping. A bed, my blankets, everything hung up so I got room to move. Um, I need to come up with a better plan for these fishing poles so I don't have to keep moving them. Probably get a, a rack or something. Well, I have a rack, I haven't installed it yet, but I need to put a rack up here with uh, some hard cases, you know, because this is becoming, um, yeah, this is a nightly kind of thing and it's taking forever to set up and it shouldn't be that hard but i'll get it down eventually we have a freaking um hiroshima situation going on over here that fire's still blazing i'm gonna go in and throw um some of these on there just because um i'm getting tired i don't feel like waiting for that to go down so All right, got this chicken going, uh, full blast. It's probably gonna taste like um, a forest fire when it's done, but at this point, I don't really care. Um, I'm just gonna eat and go to sleep. I'm friggin' exhausted. So this chicken, um, I kind of forgot about it when I was messing with my van, and it looks like um, it was in Japan in 1944. So. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure if I'm going to eat that or not. I'll probably just eat some raspberries and then I'll just throw the rest of it out to the alligators tomorrow because that looks like garbage. So I really dropped the ball on that. I've gotten too comfortable cooking with an air fryer and now I'm paying for it. But oh well. I'm going to eat I'm going to eat some raspberries and then I'm going to sleep. I am finally in my van. About to go to sleep. I think it's uh it's almost 10 o'clock plenty good time to go to sleep so i'm gonna get up early and got about 200 miles of driving to do um, go further south into florida and do some saltwater fishing and some um, inland fishing in the canals and i'm gonna film everything and uh it should be it should be pretty awesome so We'll see how it goes. I will see you um, in the next video.